Listen to me, please. I need to talk to you. Give me only a few minutes. Accept what I experience, what I feel, without reserve, without judgment. Listen to me, please. I need to talk. Do not bombard me with questions, advice and opinions. Do not feel obliged to settle my difficulties. It could be that you lack confidence in my competence. Listen to me, please. I need to talk. Do not try to entertain or amuse me. It would make me think you fail to understand the importance of what I'm going through. Listen to me, please. I need to talk. Do not feel it is your duty to approve. If I need to tell my story, it is simply to be set free. Listen to me, please. I need to talk. Do not interpret or try to analyse. I would feel misunderstood and manipulated and could no longer tell you anything. Listen to me, please. I need to talk. Do not interrupt to question me. Do not attempt to force me to reveal what is hidden. I know how far I can and will go. Listen to me, please. I need to talk. Respect the silences which help me to make progress. Be very careful not to break them. It is very often through them that things are clarified. So now that you have let me have my say, I beg you, now you may speak. Attentive and at your disposal, I, in my turn, will listen to you. I begin with that poem because I think that the inability to listen well is endemic within our society. The author Stephen Covey says most people do not listen with the intent to understand, they listen with the intent to reply. Hearing and listening are not the same thing. Hearing is simply the physical ability to perceive sound. Listening, however, is something much deeper. It is something you consciously choose to do. To truly listen well involves our whole being. It is far from passive. It requires concentration and time and energy. The ability to actively listen to others is possibly the most effective interpersonal skill that you can possibly develop. Richard Branson has quoted listening as one of the main factors behind the success of his uh, Virgin Empire. It's a skill that undergirds the effectiveness of all successful human relationships. And it is by far the most powerful way of connecting with other people. You cannot listen well if you are tired and distracted. And sometimes the most honouring thing we can do is simply to be honest with those who need us to listen. You cannot listen well if you harbour bias and judgments and preconceived ideas about another. You cannot listen well if you have already jumped to conclusions and prematurely formed an opinion about what the other is saying. To listen well isn't necessarily about agreeing or condoning the thoughts, actions or words of another. But it is very possibly the highest form of respect that we can offer another person. 
It is heart motivated. It is others centered. It says, I care because you matter. It reveals an authenticity of character in the one who is listening and creates increased trust. It shows a willingness to learn and in turn will increase your ability to motivate and influence others. Why is loneliness so prevalent in our world? Why are the figures of those experiencing mental health struggles so horribly high? Very often, to listen well is the only thing that we really need to do to help others. Austrian pianist Alfred Brendel points out that the word listen contains the exact same letters as the word silent. Maybe that's something to ponder. Are you willing and ready to take the challenge to become a better listener, a more attentive and present listener. I hope so. See you next week. <laughs>